when you guys want to finish this triangle, um, uh, he needs to be completely flat. And he needs to be flat on his back. I, I think the biggest mistake is that we get carried away with this arm right here. We cannot pull this arm. Now, even if you have this arm locked in in good position, you can't pull this arm. He needs to be flat. You monitor this arm. Where I want my knee is I want to extend my knee so it's deep in the, in the armpit, the same place you guys used it for, the, for that, hit, that reversal. But th this leg does something very specific. Don't get carried away and lock in your feet too early. We can look at what happens if you do. But this one extends. You see how I'm not pulling his arm? I'm monitoring his arm. And then you're going to back heel strong. That starts to strangle. So now it's his shoulder and tricep are, put, are, are pinching into the neck. Then the leg locks. Now, when you guys use your right leg, I'll show you how to manipulate your right leg. My, my, the inside of my quad should be under his head like a pillow. It should not be under his back. I'll look, we'll look at what happens. I'll show you guys real quick how to fix that. But it should just be under his head. It feels, it feels wrong. It feels like it's too loose. It feels like he's going to slip down that way, but they won't. Okay? So we monitor the arm. You extend your leg so it's knee deep under the armpit. Back heel first, and now we lock it. And once you guys lock the triangle, now it's just a, a knee squeeze down to the mat, and you'll, you'll get a submission. Like if I just hold here, I don't have to waste much energy. Okay? I'm a big fan of continuing to monitor the, this arm when you guys are laying down. That helps that bridge that Jason was talking about, keeping this elbow, keeping this arm off the ground. If you guys m make a mistake and you get the, the, the leg under the back, same thing that he showed, except I prefer to hold, still hold on this arm, um, is the back heel strong, so you get your legs locked, but it's too loose. You see, it's down by my ankle. Use a back heel with your right foot and put your toes on the mat. And then we're gonna hip down to the floor and straighten your leg. And you see that how this leg went up to the, my knee? And now my right leg is not under his back anymore. It's under his head. And now it's the same, you finish, okay? This is a good way to tighten up this triangle. If you've pinned someone, especially off that roll, but it's, it's not right. You've got it a little bit too deep under his back. Hold this arm, so that, again, hold it. Don't pull it, hold it. Okay, his, his elbow's not going so far. As long as I keep his arm in this situation, it's good. Don't pull the arm. It's the biggest mistake we can make. Back heel strong with your bottom leg. Right leg is gonna back heel and my toes are gonna go on the mat. And then I'm gonna face the floor and straighten my right leg. So my knee comes off the mat and my left leg will slide up deeper. And now we'll sit down. And yeah, you can see it's, it's very tight. You don't have to waste much energy, okay? Um, but if you're up on your elbow when you start it, no problem, just get on this arm, okay? Uh, my, my thing I tell my students in LA when we wanna finish this triangle, the only time you should be up on your elbow right here is if you're posing for like Vogue, something like that, and triangles are in style. Otherwise, get on this arm so they can't, they, you have the Kimura grip, you have an isolation of this arm so you can move through, okay guys? That help everybody? Yes, Makes sense? So when you guys are here, hold the arm. Don't pull. Keep him flat on his back. Elongate your knee. Make sure your right leg is just under the head like a pillow. Back heel to start the strangle, and now it's on. Squeeze the knees and continue to back heel. The knees go together, down to the floor. Okay. If it's too deep, Andy, can you bridge up a little bit? Yeah, if it's too deep. Ah, it's too deep. Back heel the bottom leg. Toes go on the ground. Straighten your legs until your knee is off the mat, and then we sit back down and you'll fix it. And sometimes you may have to do that twice. Back heel, back heel, fix it, adjust it.